Hello guys, on this project we're going to learn how to use the Launchpad MSP430 as a digital thermometer. So the only thing that we're going to be using is the Launchpad and the included USB cable. So one thing that you should know is that the Launchpad has an integrated analog temperature sensor. And this, this temperature sensor reads the temperature in the environment and, com and converts it into volts. That is something that the Launchpad actually understands. And how are we going to make the the launch part and uh, start reading the temperature. Well, first of all, you need to know that our energy, that is a program that, that is, we're going to be using, recognizes that the temperature sensor as the pin A10 that is right here. All right, you should you also should know that that pin uh, is not here on the diagram. It goes all the way from A0 to A7, but there is no A10, so make sure to write it down or just remember it, but temperature sensor, energy recognizes re recognize it as A10. All right, so first of all, open a new sketch and just write down this code. First thing we see is that uh, we don't set up pin A10 as an input, which, may, uh, which could make sense uh, to set it up as an input, but because it's an analog pin, uh, we don't set it up as an input. We could, but we don't necessarily have to. Then we have serial that begin 9600, and that's just to enable data to be sent to the computer. Then we have analog reference, uh, which is which we are going to be using 1.5 volts. Remember that whenever you're reading something uh, that is external from the MSP430, which in this case we're going to be reading the environment, the temperature, you need to use 1.5 volts or 2.5 volts uh, if you want to be accurate. Then we go into the loop. We see that we set up a new integer, which is going to be analog value. And that analog value is going to be equal to the reading, the analog reading of A10. Then we go into serial.println, which is going to send back to the computer the data of the value of analog value in decimal format, which are the regular numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, all those. And we have LN because we're just going to have one line that we're going to jump to the next one. So we have it kind of in a list. And then we're going to do this code every second because we don't want to do it so often because, you know, temperature doesn't change that fast. So first thing that you need to do, uh, compile it and upload it to the launchpad. Well, once it's connected, obviously. So let's do that. And once, it, once you upload it to the launchpad, uh, actually nothing is going to happen like physically, but then you will need to go to the serial monitor. Let me show you. As you can see here, the launchpad is just regular, not doing anything. But if you go to the serial monitor, it's showing you the readings. That is the voltage that the, that the MSP430 is reading. All right. So now, if you have the launchpad and you start rubbing the chip, you start rubbing the chip that will produce heat, and the energy should start reading more and more. The number should start increasing. As you see now, it's going 750. 753 if you keep doing it it's gonna keep going up and if you if you expose it to something cold uh, it should start decreasing all right so but we don't want that we, we want to actually understand and know what is the temperature well I just wanted to show you this so you can actually understand a little bit what is going on but now I want you to take a look at this code erase that one or save it the, the one that we just saw was the temperature in volts. Now, this one is in actual Fahrenheit, all right? So same thing going on. We don't set up the pin because uh, it's an analog. It do it by itself. We start the communication between the computer and the launchpad. We use 1.5 volts as reference. Here, here we have a new, uh, a new function of energy, which is going to be long. Long is the same as integer, uh, which is kind of constant. If you remember constant, this 
one thing is equal to the other one, but it's not going to change never in the code. Integer uh, actually changes, and long is pretty much an integer, but when you do math, or it's uh, just a big number. As you can see here, sensor value is the same thing as analog read of 810, but then we do math, minus 630. So that's why we use long. It's when we want to use an integer, but we want to do math with it. All right. And then, because we cannot do too much operations, because it cannot hold too many bits, uh, we need to use another long. Uh, now, long Fahrenheit value is the same thing as sensor value times 671 over 1761 uh, over 1024. All right. So that should that should do the trick to actually convert the volts into a Fahrenheit format. So pretty much you just need the value of 810 minus 630 times 761 over 1024. Uh, that's what we're doing, but we need to do it in uh, two times because it's too much information to, to store in one long. Then uh, we use serial dot print the value of Fahrenheit value, which is the last value, in decimal format, then serial dot write. Write is pretty much the same thing as print, but when with print, the computer is actually reading uh, a value, a number. And with write, even if you write 45, what the computer is going to be reading, what it's going to be getting, we could say is more like a symbol. Uh, even if you put 45, the computer is going to display 45, but it's just going to be a 45 symbol. I don't really know how to explain it. It's like, it's not an actual 45, just we could say the picture or something. So, and it, it doesn't take too many bits. So, because it, we just want to use a symbol, we use serial.write, uh, the degree symbol, the, that symbol. And it goes up. So, with this is going to, the, this symbol is going to go after the value. Then the LN, because it's going to be the last thing that we're going to put, and then we're going to jump to the next line, we're going to have F. So it's going to be first the value, the symbol, and F. Then because of LN, we jump to the next line. And we're, not, we're going to do this every second. So now go ahead, compile it, and then upload it to the MSP430, and let's see what happens. Same thing, go to Serial Monitor. Click it. All right, so it says serial port com already in use. Try quitting any pro. All right, so that's because I'm using this thing. All right, there you go. So as you can see, now we can we can get a reading in Fahrenheit format. All right, so. You want to see if it's working? Same thing. Just wrap it. As you can see, it's increasing. It's going all the way to 90. And if you expose it to something cold, uh, it's going to start decreasing. So that's pretty neat, right? Now, just imagine if you could add some LCD screens, some, or like, something like a sound or something you could use an if else statement to make a sound to turn an led on or something so now i want to show you uh, another code really fast uh, just for you to have it um, which is pretty much the same thing the only difference here is that we're using an if else statement What's this for? Well, as you can see here, the only difference is that here I set up the, the red LED as an output. This means that I'm going to be using the red LED. And here, after the values, I use an if-else statement, which says, if the value is higher than 90, turn the red LED, which is a pin 2, turn it on. So send high voltage. Else, turn it off. What if we just use this if? Uh, the, if we just use it if, the LED will turn, on, will turn on, but it will never turn off. So let's give it a try. Serial monitor. Oh, no. First, upload it. Go. 
compile it, upload it, always same thing. So remember, it's pretty much the same thing. I just added the, I just set up the red LED as an output and use the if else statement. So 87 LED off. Now it's harder than it looks to take it to 90. Ah, come on, there you go, <laughs> red. So it's going to be on as long as the serial monitor is reading above 90. See, now it's off. Let me pick again to 92, 93, so it turns on. So that's pretty neat, huh? Now, just imagine all the things that you can do uh, with this code. Uh, instead of just if instead of setting the red LED as an output, we could we could set up the uh, a buzzer or something as an output, and we could make a sound if if the temperature go, goes above 90. Uh, we it could pretty much work as a fire detector, you know. So hope you learned something, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, be active on the web page. Uh, leave me some comments, send me emails, and I will be happy to, to help if you need anything. Alright, thank you.